Hello from Arusha. So we came here through the Nemanga border crossing and then we went for a safari. And now we're spending a couple of days here, including Kilimanjaro. So let's go see some of the city. Right behind me is the Maasai market. So this is like, it's covered. It's um, quite cute. If you want to buy some souvenirs, this is a good place, but you have to haggle here and negotiate. Can't just take it at the face value or the price they give you. We were so exhausted from our safari, especially because of the camping on our last night, that we just decided to do nothing. We just had some good lunch. We came to the spa, had a massage and a facial and a scrub and a wrap. So I feel fantastic now. Uh, gonna have some tea and cake. So there's not much to do in the city itself. Uh, there's a few good places. We're gonna go to Kilimanjaro tomorrow to see the mountain up close and also to the hot springs. So let's go. We're doing our one day around Kilimanjaro thingy. Basically came to Metaruni waterfalls. We left Arusha around nine o'clock, which was a bit late in hindsight. So we got here around 12. We got to the Metaruni village, paid the fee there. And now we're going to hike to the waterfalls through this and pay another fee there. They like to basically charge fees here. Let's go hike. This is the last village before the Kilimanjaro National Park. Unfortunately, we can't see the Kilimanjaro. It's all cloudy. But on the positive side, we have a nice little friend here. Say hello. Hello. So from the village to the waterfall, it takes about 30 minutes. Um, and it costs extra 10,000, but we're gonna be doing the coffee tour and they will be giving us lunch here. So it comes out to be about roughly 40,000 shillings per person for the entire thing. I 
have the best hiking buddy in the world. Look how cute he is. Come on. Let's go. Yes. I don't think Kalimanjaro is very happy to see us, so we're basically drenched and drained. But it kind of feels nice. I'm standing right next to a coffee tree and we just got back to the village. We're gonna just learn how it goes from the tree all the way to the cup of coffee. This is like literally the freshest cup of coffee I've ever had or will have because I don't really drink a lot of coffee. Basically, the harvesting season is like around July, August. They kept the beans, which come out of the red fruit. And then we'll show you the rest of how it goes from the tree to the cup. I'm gonna enjoy this. You guys watch that in the meanwhile. Yes. A very very bumpy half an hour drive later we are at the warm springs they're not really hot springs and it looks like a fun place to be so the entry for this is 10,000 shillings let's go enjoy it So a few things. One, they're not hot springs. They are, it, the water is nice and warm. You can go in it. There's some fish in it, which will try to eat your dead skin apparently. That was really creepy. But I went to the other side, so that didn't happen. That was good. And if you're a shit swimmer like me, you need to get a tube, which they rent for 5,000 shillings. Overall, it was a good experience and we came here for sunset, but we tried to see Kilimanjaro the whole day and completely failed, so... I don't know, but it was it was still a very good day. It's here, it's here. We finally get to see Kilimanjaro. Not like all of it, but I'm really happy that we finally got to see it like just before the sunset. 